So hey everybody, this is part two of our bite-sized video for Kubernetes on how to create a Nikes cluster till you register with the load balancer. So here is a 13 step process that I have written for today's bite-sized video. And so the first thing is you want to create an EKS cluster with uh, Fargate as the hosting option. I chose Fargate because it is serverless and uh, we don't need to manage the number of EC2 nodes and a lot of other things which delays the creation as well. And so I'm creating uh, the EKS cluster with uh, EKS cluster uh, binaries. And so that's something you have to download. Once I'm creating that, I'm creating a Fargate profile with a namespace. In this case, I'm going to call it default namespace. And then now yesterday I showed we have the Docker image. So I'm going to push the Docker image into uh, ECR uh, or Elastic Container Repository. And this I've already done it with uh, the Docker. I'm going to tag my image and then I'm going to push from Docker into uh, ECR, okay? So here you just have to replace it with whatever uh, uh, endpoint you get from ECR. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to have all my uh, Kubernetes secrets like my TMDB uh, API key stored here. The next thing is getting into the load balancer part. So we need to have a policy for the load balancer controller where there is going to be things like describe instances and all these different uh, Policy. So, for example, if I go in here, you can see that uh, this is the policy document for the load balancer controller that I'm directly getting from uh, the Kubernetes 6 uh, uh, GitHub page. And so linking it to the <clears throat> service and uh, what are all the different uh, properties with respect to security groups, for example, or you can authorize security group ingress, for example, if you want to allow traffic to HTTP, port 80, all of that, uh, you have to give the IAM role permissions. And so I'm going to download that, and then I'm going to create an IAM service account where I'm going to attach this particular uh, policy here. After that, I'm going to install uh, Helm. Uh, Helm is just a package manager for uh, Kubernetes. So if you don't have it, you should probably install it. And then I have to install the load balancer controller with the help of uh, Helm. Once I've done this, uh, I'm going to have a NLB in our particular case. Uh, the default when you try to create clusters comes out as classic load balancer, which is not ideal for these kind of deployments. So you want to create an NLP and you want to make sure that the protocol and port are uh, matching and that the uh, traffic is going to be allowed inbound uh, from everywhere, from the internet. So now once we're ready with this, we create the deployment.yaml. So we already saw most of this yesterday. The key thing is to change the uh, Docker image uh, here from ECR and uh, you want to create uh, the service.yaml. The other thing is in our app.py, I put a health route just to check if uh, the service is healthy or not. Uh, and so that's the first thing you want to do before actually doing any uh, get request. So then I'm doing service.yaml and here very specifically, I'm saying that I want a uh, network load balancer that is uh, internet facing. And I want to make sure that I put the correct security group ID. So you want to go into the console and find out the right security group. For example, in this case, here is my load balancer. If I go here, this is the uh, security group ID. And you can see here that uh, I have HTTP from everywhere that is available. And so once I'm done with this, I'm just going to Quebec apply and then Quebec apply uh, service.yaml. And now I can start looking at my pods. So I've already created all of this. All of this takes time. And so uh, if I do Quebec till get pods, you can see that uh, in my case, I have uh, the movie summarizer. Both of these pods are in, uh, in running state. And after that, uh, what I can do is I can just make sure that uh, my uh, service is also ready from which I can get the load balancer and so here you can see that i have my movie summarizer service and this is my load balancer okay this is my load balancer endpoint so now i have my kubernetes cluster running all my pods running my network load balancer connected 
So the last thing is we can verify uh, if this load balancer is working properly. So let me do the slash health route and uh, we can see that the status is okay. And once I'm done with this, uh, I can now search for different movies. For example, I can search for Godfather and movie. So now we've already seen how the uh, backend works. And so here you can see that uh, in this case, it came up with the uh, Tamil film or Kannada film. Uh, it's probably the wrong name. Uh, so, you know, you might want to check these outcomes. And yeah, so this is the uh, uh, AI version of the answer for a Godfather and type movie. And then let's see friends and then uh, TV. So let's just make sure at least something that we know comes out. Yes. So here is the cast and then here is the show. All right. So with that, Kubernetes Bite Size Video Part 2 is done. And that's it with these two parts. You can get started and uh, good luck deploying all your pods into your EKS clusters and connecting it to a load balancer and exposing the load balancer. And so the last thing is we are going to build our mobile front end and connect uh, it to this uh, API and be done with this project as well. All right. So that's it, everyone. Have a good rest of your day.